Hello, today we are going to begin with our book of prose and poetry, Flamingo. And of course we begin with chapter number one, The Last Lesson by Alphonse Daudet, a French writer and the story that he has given to us is also a story which is based in France and it is related to the French language, uh, the language of the people of France and how important the mother tongue, a person's uh, language of birth uh, should be in his life and uh, it is also uh, a lesson which gives us many other ideas uh, as we would be doing in the theme of this chapter. Uh, so we begin with chapter number one, the last lesson. The title of the chapter is always very very important and we would be discussing the title first. Of course as we go ahead with the story you would be able to understand why the author has given it the title of the last lesson uh, and a lesson of course means uh, being taught. Uh, it is a teaching that a teacher gives to the student, a parent might give to a child or any elder, any person who is elder to you might give to you from his experience. So uh, this is what kind of last lesson we are talking about. First of all, the time in which this story takes place, uh, this episode takes place is important. It is the year 1870 to 1871 when the war between the French and the Prussian forces was taking place and it is a war of accession which means the side which wins takes over the territory, the land of the defeated side and here in this war the French forces have been defeated and the Prussian forces have taken over A number of districts of France and particularly the place where this story takes place is the El Sanche village. Uh, it is the El, Sa El Sanche district basically. Uh, let me just spell it again. It is El Sanche and uh, the territory of Lorraine. So these are two districts of France which have been taken over by the Prussian forces. Now Prussian forces you must understand are basically forces of Germany so there are they are predominantly German forces with uh, parts of Poland so earlier it was together these uh, areas were together but now uh, at that time they were called Prussia but uh, now you can understand that we are talking about the uh, German territory which is predominant in this in this chapter and hence the uh, the language German language also uh, comes here we would be talking about the German language how it features here but here we are talking about Prussian forces which at that time which means in 1870 and 1871 were German Poland and parts of Austria you if you want to remember this it is fine if you don't at least keep in mind that these are certain things this word Prussian it is something very important and you must remember 
El Sache is very important because this is the place where this whole thing takes place and the war between French and Prussian army um, is going on and mostly the French forces have been defeated and many districts have been taken over and the newest district which the Prussian forces, the German forces take over um, is the district of El Sache. And uh, if we carry on, uh, how this chapter goes ahead uh, is that we have a narrator. Who is a narrator basically? A narrator is the person who is telling the story. So here in this chapter, the narrator is a first person narrator which means that the character itself is talking to the reader and not the author. So the uh, story is a first person narration which means one character is telling the story to us to the reader and it is not the author who is speaking of course the author has written but he is speaking through the mouth of one character and this first person narrator is Franz his name is Franz Franz is a boy uh, who studies in the school of Alsace run by the teacher whose name is M. Hamel. So these are a few names that you will have to remember. These two are the main characters as you can say of this story. Our boy narrator whose name is Franz and uh, the teacher who, uh, in whose school this boy studies uh, and his name is M. Hamel. So what happens? The story begins. The story begins now and how it goes on is that uh, Franz says that he is, Franz is late for school one day as usual because he is mostly late and he is afraid of the scolding that he would get from his teacher M. Hamel. And you must understand it is a village school, it is a school which is run by one person so that one person teaches all the classes and all the subjects and the name of that person is MML and he is a very strict teacher and he keeps an iron ruler. Um, under his arm that is why the children are very afraid of him and so Franz is also very afraid that now he would be scolded by the teacher for being late and not only that uh, he has not learnt by heart the rules of participle that he was supposed to learn and that is why he